Welcome to the shop where today we're looking at what's inside the box of the Quad Boss 3500 pound winch. Now this winch I got with the Dynamo rope and I'm putting it on the razor so I went with 3500. That way I've got enough power to pull this thing when I do get it stuck. Now inside the box you're going to find your winch and this winch is it's a heavy built winch. It's a cast. It's not plastic so I mean it's it's a pretty sturdy winch. It comes with the, the fire lead bracket. You just match your fire lead to the bracket and you've still got to have a vehicle specific mount depending on what you're putting it on. Comes with the fire lead. Comes with the bolts to match the fire lead to the bracket. Comes with the contactor. Again, this is a cast contactor. It's not plastic. The upper section here is plastic. It's molded where the lower section is cast when you bolt it down so you ain't really got to worry about breaking it. It comes with a pretty cool little cover here. It just uh, it just snaps over. And what that does, if you mount this on your bike and these leads are hot, that keeps you from dropping. Like if something drops down, it keeps you from getting to these contacts and shorting them out. It comes with the bolts to mount that contact. It comes with a short red wire and a short black wire. And now these wires have yellow and blue coating. This tells you where to mount them on the contactor. It uh, comes with red and black wires, your long wires, and these are just red and black. That's how you know how to mount them on your contactor. It comes with uh, a mini rocker switch so you can mount this thing basically anywhere. You can bolt it to the dash, under the dash. It comes with a handlebar mount so if you can use this little clamp and if you want to bolt it to the cage or something up under the dash it can be done. Now, I like mounting these right next to the steering wheel, right next to the dash. That way it's pretty easy to get to. It comes with the, the bolts for the winch, and it comes with two little guards. Now these guards goes on your rubber ends of your cable that goes on, goes on the winch itself. And this protects it again from shorting out. That way if you get a stick or something that falls down on it, this protects that stick from being able to short out. It's just a little insulation. It comes with your uh, with your pull strap. It comes with a hook. It comes with the wired remote. That way you can sit there and you can put this in the glove compartment. And if you need it, then you can plug it in and you can get out of your bike and you can use this pretty much wherever. I mean, you can run around your bike and I mean just use it wherever you need to be. If you need to be out there by the winch then you can, you can reel the winch in and out. Now this is your plug for your quick connect. You can take this plug and you can mount it in the dash. You can mount it pretty much anywhere. And these, you've got uh, four wires coming out of this. you got your red, and this is going to be a keyed hot source. You want to hook this up. Anything off of the key or you can run a toggle switch to it if you want to just anything that's not got constant power. You've got a black, which is your ground. you got a blue and a brown. Now, the blue and the brown, your uh, mini rocker switch here, it plugs straight in your blue and your brown, and it's got a red wire. And this is also a key hot source. You don't want to run this straight to your battery cable. You want to run this off the toggle switch or off the ignition switch one to other. And the, uh, this is a wireless remote, which I picked up to go with it. It don't come with the kit, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. That way, all this does, it's another quick connect. It just plugs right into this quick connect here. And then uh, the green wire is your antenna. So, I mean, you just let that hang there somewhere, and you can mount this pretty much anywhere. Now, instead of mounting this inside the dash, I'm gonna, I've got it up under the dash and I got this plugged in, got it kind of hidden out of the way. And I've got it protected from the elements up under the dash that way it don't get as much water splash and when I'm cleaning it, it don't get as much, it don't get as much water or see the elements as much. Now this remote is pretty cool. You just got a simple two button. You got in and you got out. So I mean, you can't really, can't really go wrong with it. 
And you get your uh, little brochure inside the book. It talks about the winches. And it tells you the horsepower. It tells you the gear reduction. It tells you all the specifications of the winch. It tells you the amp draw of the motor at how many pounds you're pulling. Like on the uh, 3500, pulling 3500 pounds, it's drawing 230 amps at the motor. But anyway, that's all and, there uh, is. It tells you the quad boss 3500 pound winch. One more thing I'm going to show you is this rope right here. This rope has got a protective sheave on it. It's a protective cover. And I mean, it's it's not a four footer like a lot of them are. It's more like a 10 footer. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I mean, it's got a good long sheave. That way, if you're winching across rocks or if you're winching around a tree or if you're winching around something that might damage the rope, this sheave right here lets the rope slide inside of it and it protects it. It keeps it from actually damaging the rope. And just, just like all winches, you spin this little knob right here to engage and to freeze pull. I mean, it's as simple as that if you want to engage it or freeze pull it. Now with the winch mounted on my bike, you can see I've got it mounted on the Racer Tape front bumper. I've got it mounted up high and dry. That's what I like to call it, high and dry. Because if you mount it down under the frame, then uh, your, your winch is going to see more moisture and it's going to hold it. Where if you get it out here, it's going to see more sunlight and it's going to dry it out. And the winch could possibly last a little bit longer. And uh, like I'm saying here, you flip that little switch there. You disengage your rope, you pull out what you need, and as you can see, this ain't got one of the short sheaths on it. This has got a big long sheath, so it's going to protect this rope. I mean, it's going to, most winches that I've found don't have a sheath that long, so I mean, that's, to me, that's, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, you lock it back in, you can hit your and now with this all the way in, if you're in a sticky situation, you need to let yourself off over a hill or you need to let somebody else off over something that ain't real steep, but it's steep enough that you don't really trust releasing the winch and doing it, you can hit the out. And you can reel yourself out. else I like to do every time I clean this thing. I like to disengage the clutch, press the button, and sit here and hold it and let this winch run for a little while. Because what you're doing, you want to warm this motor up. Because for this one, these motors, what happens to most winches? Most winches don't get used very often. You may never use your winch and your winch goes bad. Well, it ain't the winch's fault. It collects moisture. For what we put them through when we get out in the woods, when we come home, we pressure wash these things, we clean them up. Well, these, they collect moisture. So, I mean, in order to get rid of that moisture, you need to get, get this motor warm every so often. So, what you want to do, disengage it and sit here and hold the button until that motor starts getting a little bit warm. And when it starts getting a little bit warm, that's going to dry up any moisture that is built up inside the winch. Now with the motor starting to get a little bit warm, I know that it's, if there's any moisture in there, it's kind of dried it up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to engage this thing. I'm going to put my remote up and I'm fixing to go get in the woods and see if I can't get this thing stuck. But anyway, that's all there is to the Quad Boss Wing. Quad Boss Wing!